tons of photos and sneak peeks of Suicide Squad have been making the rounds over the past week or so, and the foundations of my already cautious optimism are beginning to crumble. Bring it on. Something just doesn't feel right. Stylistically, it looks really old school, and not in a good way. The first look photo of the Task Force X lined up in all their glory puts me to mind of a really shitty comic book movie from the mid to late 90s. Seriously, where are their Jenko jeans and chain wallets for fuck's sake? Those were the days. The look of Margot Robbie's Harley has received the most flack even inspiring the hashtag, not my Harley. Just like the promo image of Leto's Joker, yeah, I know who she's supposed to be. Doesn't mean I dig it. Obviously, they were not going to give us a variation of the Jester outfit we all know and love, and yes, a lot of the looks we have seen in the comics post New 52 are absolutely heinous, but come on, guys. You couldn't meet us in the middle, you know? Like, give us a look along the lines of the Arkham games, perhaps? Will Smith looks like he's ready for a really intense round of paintball as Deadshot. FYI, Deadshot's cybernetic eye is the right one, so that's a fail off the bat. The, um, prosthetic makeup on Killer Croc is so piss poor that it makes the Things makeup from the first two Fantastic Four films look Rick Baker worthy. The only costume that I cannot say too much about is Katana's. Stylistically, it's a pretty damn good adaptation. The rest of them belong in a Steven Seagal straight-to-DVD release. Hi, I'm Steven Seagal, and as you can see, we're having a lot of fun on the set of my latest movie, Kung Fu the Movie, starring Steven Seagal. In brighter DC-related news, the Flash and Arrow television universe is finally getting bigger. The CW has officially ordered another television series set in the same universe as its DC-based hit shows. The series is titled DC's Legends of Tomorrow and will be starring Doctor Who alum Arthur Darvel. Ironically, Darvel will be playing a time traveler named Rip Hunter, who is faced with the daunting task of preventing a doomed future from becoming a reality with the aid of DC heroes and villains such as the Atom, Firestorm, Hot Girl, Heat Wave, and Captain Cold. It's pretty awesome. Arrow fan favorite Katie Lotz is said to make an appearance in the series, which should be interesting because, spoiler alert, her character, Sarah Lance, took a well-placed arrow to the vital organs earlier in the season of Arrow, so... Might there be some Lazarus Pit shenanigans? Perhaps? We knew that in tackling the Civil War storyline that the stakes were gonna be high, but this film is shaping up to be the biggest scale Marvel feature to not have Avengers in the title. I'm doing that little dance, and you know what that little dance means? Or maybe you don't? But it means that I'm really excited. <laughs> um, and so in... in Blech. So finally, in a very exciting piece of casting news, Martin Freeman will be taking an unexpected journey from Middle Earth to smack dab in the middle of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in an unspecified role. But still, I, yeah. What? It's exciting, I don't know what's going on, but cool. Freeman is just another in the laundry list of talented actors to be enlisted for Captain America Civil War. He joins Chris Evans, Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, Jeremy Renner, Sebastian Stan, Chadwick Boseman, Anthony Mackie, Elizabeth Olsen, Paul Bettany, and Paul Rudd. So every time someone announces him, it should be said that way. Paul Rudd. No, he'd kill me. He is Ant-Man, so. So. What say you geeklings? Are you worried about the direction the Suicide Squad is taking, at least stylistically? Are you excited for another series in CW's DC television universe? Who do you think Martin Freeman will be playing in Captain America Civil War? And be sure to get thine asses over to aggressivecomics.com for all the latest and greatest and geeky news. You know, it's where all the cool kids go. You wanna be cool, don't you? That's why I have my hat on backwards. So 90s. So 90s. And until next time, stay geeky, my friends.